Let me show you how to apply a drop shadow effect on shape, text or picture in Affinity Publisher. So simply select the element and then in the layer section on the right side you will see this FX effects, layer effects. Click on that. There will be pop-up window like this one. Try to position this pop-up window in free space so you can actually see that object that you're working on. Search for all the shadow over here at the bottom. Turn it on by clicking on the checkbox. And now we need to customize it. First, you need to change the size of it. In my case, it's zero pixels. So I will make it way larger. And as you can see, this shadow is appearing around my shape. You can actually keep it a bit smaller, but add like intensity to it. So we can make it more intense, sharper with the bottom slider and the middle slider will move it away from the object. So we can offset this and control the direction of the offset with the angle. By default, the color is black and it's blending as multiply. But you can experiment with that if you like. You can even add a bit of noise here. All right. And it's right now multiplying. So it's passing the dark color down. So that's kind of a good thing. 50% opacity. You can drop it down if it's too strong or increase if you want a really dark shadow. And that's how you can apply a drop shadow on any object in Affinity publisher and by the way you don't need to start it over for the next object or next picture if i select this guy and i click command c to copy or Control c on windows like i want to copy the whole object but instead of that i click on the next guy head up to edit and you got option to paste fx so i will not paste the whole object but i will paste only the effects and here's my drop shadow on the second object. All right, I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next video.